Greetings, beautiful creatures. My name is Angel Nightmare. So I haven't done one of these in a while, mainly because I haven't been buying video games because I'm broke. And yes, but um, in the past two, three months since the last time I've done one of these videos, I've gotten a few games. Most of them I found at a thrift store in Georgia for like a dollar and I was like you can't pass up dollar games that are complete in box so I got those and the only reason why I'm doing this now is because I'm in the middle of moving and I packed up like almost my entire video game collection but these are the games right here I'll get this out of the way All right, so first two games I got are Life is Strange and the Mega Man Legacy Collection from Walmart, they were both $30 each. I got Mega Man because, as you guys know, Mega Man's a really big uh, inspiration for me. My very first game I ever played was Mega Man X, and that's pretty much jump-started all of this bullshit. So, um, I've beaten Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 when I was younger, but I've never played 4, 5, and 6. So, I am going to play through all of these Mega Man games on here. Then Life is Strange is one of those uh, decision making games like you make a decision it drastically changes the story or changes the story it makes you believe that it drastically changes it well no I'll, I'll, we'll, who knows I'll play it I've never watched any gameplay of this so I'm looking forward to doing this I might do this for the let's play channel that I plan on doing with a friend when I get to California but yeah there's that um, Zelda Wind Waker I had this game when I was younger and I regret ever selling it because it was one of the first GameCube games that I got. I think, yeah, actually, I think it was the second GameCube game I have ever received. The first one I got was Animal Crossing, and my dad bought this for me. Or he didn't buy me this copy, obviously, but he bought it for me, and I should have kept it. And uh, I didn't see my dad a whole lot in my childhood, but he came and visited me one Christmas and, and bought this for me. But um, I, I sold this when I was in college. Because I needed money, I was broke, and I got some money, and I think I ended up selling it for like $10. But I couldn't find this game in this, like, condition. Like, or, I always find, like, the crappy yellow player's choice. And if you know anything about me, I hate, like, the best sellers cases or the player's choice cases. Like, there's, like, probably, like, two or three games. Like, this right here, this was given to me, but... Uh, it's the greatest hits like this really bothers me like I eventually plan on getting Another copy of Kingdom Hearts that doesn't have the red Greatest hits even though the spike red is my favorite color. I want the original art in the original cases But I see this game everywhere and it sells for like 35 40 bucks But I'm always seeing the player's choice, but I was in Memphis one day um, Actually met with somebody in Craigslist to sell some reptile supplies Decided to stop at the game exchange up there and I found this for 17 bucks and this for 35 bucks yeah and I was like oh look I have not seen one of these without the yellow shit on it or the best sellers fucking logo on it so I was like I'm gonna get it and I finally got it now it's in my collection and I got this because if I, I'm glad I didn't spend what sixty dollars on this and I think it was like down the 40 or 50 maybe used but it, it just had a major price drop and they just released the greatest hits cases of these so now these cases are going to start to being harder to find. Um, so I got this, went ahead and picked it up. It was used, 17 bucks. Uh, I had a hard time getting the little sticker shit off, but I'm gonna get some goo gone and go through all my cases one day in the future. But yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Donkey Kong Country. I might do that for a Let's Play video um, eventually. And then these are the games that I got. I think all of these games were a dollar except for two of them, uh, which were two dollars. But um, all of these are complete in box, but I got this at a thrift store. Uh, I forget the name of the thrift store, but I was in Douglasville over the weekend. But I got Ghost Recon, Jungle Storm, that was a dollar. This was one of the two dollar games, Nitro Bike. Um, ATV Off-Road Fury 3, also a dollar. Peter Jackson's King Kong. I was actually with my friend Johnny. Um, I'm going to insert a video clip of Johnny now. You've seen it before. And um, he, uh, da, da, da. he picked this game up. And I picked up a GameCube game. It was like Power Rangers something. But he was like, 
oh damn, I want to get that GameCube. And I was like, no, nah, I caught you slipping. And then I saw this laying in his pile of games that he had. And I was like, damn, I want that Peter Jackson. And he was like, you want to trade? And I was like, hmm, because I really want to complete my GameCube collection. I really don't, I'm really don't plan on completing my PlayStation 2 collection, but I really do want to play this game because when I was in middle school, I watched my friend play through this game and it just seemed like it was such a good game and I wanted to play it. Like with the scorpions and the shooting and the things and like the parkouring and stuff like, or like the parkouring, I guess the platforming. And I was like, oh man, I've always wanted to play this game. And I was like, I traded it with him. Like I was like, all right, you can get it. You can get the, the, the what you call it. I was like, great, you can get the Pokemon. Oh, not the Pokemon, the Power Ranger. Because the Power Ranger didn't have the manual in it. And that was like, prob if it had the manual in it, I probably would have said no and then found this game later. But I'm going to play this game and definitely do this on my Let's J channel. Um, Hot Shots Golf 3, also a dollar. This was two dollars, Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Um, I like this, I think this is two player. Yeah, this is two player. This game wasn't really that great. It didn't really have a lot. But I had this on the GameCube when I was in middle school and me and my cousin played it like co-op and beat it in like three hours but we had fun playing it we actually had so much fun playing it um that we played through it twice within that one weekend and uh it's not like this game really isn't that great I mean but I had fun playing it so yeah I got that now um this I got from thrift store another thrift store I forget the name of it uh value village uh this was a dollar uh yeah this is a dollar i think and then i got this ghost recon island thunder a dollar and i also got this which is another xbox exclusive that i can mark off my list i got it from the dollar soldier of fortune 2 double helix so yeah that's all i've gotten uh yeah and i'm probably not gonna buy any more games for a while i even though i said that last time but uh i always come across a deal or a steal I'm going to buy I'm going to buy them but I am literally like I'm not I'm not gonna have any space for any of these games like a lot of this is anime too I have anime in here as well I'm not really gonna have a space for this stuff and I'm trying to pack up everything into these two suitcases because I um, I'm going to be staying in a studio apartment at first so we are going to be limited on space until we can save up enough money to get a bigger space. So I'm not really going to be able to put more into video games. Um, I'm actually thinking about downsizing the games that I actually don't plan on playing. Like the one, like these, these inbox Dreamcast games, these sports games. Uh, I might, I might post these for sale. I'll have an easier time selling these in LA though than I will here. Um, like they have apps and stuff where you can just get things sold really quickly uh, that people don't tend to use down here in the middle of nowhere. Um, but yeah, like those games, I don't really plan on playing them. They were given to me, but I'll sell those, sell those. But I think everything here I really actually plan on playing. Um, like I literally bought them with the intent of playing them and I probably haven't even played most of these yet because of working a 12 hour work shift and trying to juggle my music project and the YouTube channel as well. But I have a friend that wants to do a gaming channel with me and between her and me, we have a lot of content to go through and a lot of things to work on, but it's, it's gonna be, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more later on but it's just gonna be like a private project we're gonna work on before we even release everything. We're gonna try to get a lot of stuff like ahead and work on, but yeah. Um, but that's pretty much it. Okay, this is a couple of days after the fact, or a few days after the fact, but um, I got more games. Yes, my dumb ass went out and bought more games before I'm even done fucking moving and packing. But um, yeah, I found Super Monkey Ball for GameCube, and this isn't an uncommon game. I got it for 10 bucks uh, at Game Exchange in South Haven, Mississippi. I was up there for Repticon yesterday, and I decided to just stop by and see what they had. And I actually saw some stuff up there that I like never see down here. This is an uncommon game, but every time I've seen it, it's like, you know, the shit that I don't like, the yellow logo with the player's choice. So I actually got the original case. It doesn't have the best seller's emblem on it or the, the yellow crap that I don't like. But yeah, so this is a really fun game. 
I heard the sequels to this aren't as great as this one, but I found this one, it was four bucks, and I was like, four bucks. I was like, four bucks, you know, it can't be bad. I'll play it and probably hate it. The game mechanics are probably not as good as the original, but we'll see. And then I found this game, Monster in My Pocket. It is a platformer with really good music, and it was... 30 bucks, which is about how is like about how much it's worth, like according to video game price charts. But I don't have enough NES games, and growing up, I didn't really play the NES much. Uh, but I want to get like all of the good games on the NES and play through them all. You, um, if you get good at this game, you can probably beat it in under an hour. But it's got really good music, really good like. 8-bit chip tuny style music and I got a uh, NES controller that's like pretty decent condition uh, I eventually want to get another one this is my only one I have I have an NES but I don't have a controller for it but now I do and I picked that up while I was up there and that's pretty much it so uh, if you like this video subscribe if you if you guys have any resources for me or any space saving uh, advice as far as owning a collection of any kind, I would gladly appreciate it. And also, if you guys know a way that I can find really expensive rare games for the low low, hit me up. Don't tell nobody else, because I got to get it first. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, subscribe.